Hey YouTube, it's me. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would make a video about self-discipline and kind of my path with that. Um, it's not exactly a spiritual thing, um, but it is a kind of something spiritual, I guess you can say. Um, the whole reason why I decided to make this video today was because tonight is a full moon and I am planning on doing a spell for this um, tonight. So yes, I'm going to do a spell about self-discipline. It's something that I really need to work on in my life. Um, the last video that I made was talking about some issues that I was having with self-discipline, um, doing an independent contracting job that I was doing, and it's been a problem of mine for a long time. Um, I realized that it's a bigger problem than just my work life. It's a problem with me, period. That it's part of the reason why I'm the weight that I am, and that was another thing that I mentioned in that video, is that I wanted to lose weight. And I'm still doing this Google driving job, but to be honest, I've been nervous about going back to the independent contracting job. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm also very excited to go back to it. But at the same time, I'm nervous because, I don't know, I'm just nervous because I feel like, what if I can't do it? What if I can't make myself work again? What if it's a big problem? Um, and that's the thing that's scary is I don't want to get us in a bad situation just because I feel like I can't control myself. And it comes to that with my weight and everything too, that it's like, how do I expect to be able to control myself to make myself do to do a job that the job itself I don't actually really care to do? Like, I don't love doing the job. It's hard for me to do it. My anxiety gets in the way. And so I end up just getting overwhelmed and not wanting to do it at all. And I just cave in because I'm feeling overwhelmed. And then I just don't work. And that's the whole vicious cycle of it. Um... And it's just, life would be so much better and so much easier in so many ways if I could just conquer my self-discipline. So it's like in the long term, I need this for so many different reasons. I need it for my health. I need it for a better job and a better lifestyle, for a better quality of life. And in the long term, I need it for, you know, if I do start a business someday, I'm going to have to make myself work. I'm going to be my own boss entirely and for sure. The business is going to be relying on me. And I can't just cave every time something comes up to be like, I, this is overwhelming. I just don't feel like dealing with it, so I'm just not going to. And there goes my business. You know, like, it is such an important life skill that I need to accomplish and learn how to do. And that's why I'm doing the spell for it tonight is because I'm going to ask the universe for help. You know, I need help in order to hone this skill. Um, so, you know, I really just need that. And it's been this vicious cycle of, you know, it's like disrespecting myself. And it's so it's such a weird loophole because you would think, you know, with self-discipline, I'm giving myself whatever I want. I don't want to work, so I'm giving myself that that I want. I want to eat the pizza, so I give myself what I want and just eat the pizza. But in the long term, it's abusing myself and it's giving myself bad results because of a bad decision. Honestly, if I could start exercising too, I know that, that has a lot of benefits to my mental health. Um, doing exercises and everything helps with depression, stress, anxiety. So a lot of these things could be resolved and I could just have a better lifestyle all the way around if I could just conquer this. So I'm working on it. I really am working on it spiritually, mentally, physically, trying to figure this out. Um, so that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about today. And you may be struggling with self-discipline too. And I'm coming to the realization that it needs to change. It needs to change how I view things. It needs to change how I treat myself. It needs to come to an end of a time when I stop disrespecting myself. I wouldn't treat somebody else the way that I treat myself with stuff like that. You know, I wouldn't break promises to other people. So I don't know why I think it's okay to do it to myself because then it just is like, I'm just completely disrespecting myself and what I told myself I needed to do. And as a result of that, it's put me in bad places. So 
mindsets need to change, things need to change, things need to get better um, in that aspect. I guess too that the point is that that's something that you need to realize if you are struggling with self-discipline. I know I'm on my path for it and a lot of people, other people are too. Um, some people already have the self-discipline, they were raised in a way that they already have it and accomplished it, I guess. Um, I just haven't or have forgotten it somewhere along the way and I'm just realizing now at this point in my life that changes need to happen in order to create the reality that I want. My mindset needs to change. Things need to change. I need to make plans. I need to stick to things. I need to keep my own promises and you need to do that too. Um, I don't know what it's going to take for other people to realize that. But I guess it's just one of those things that happens in time that you just kind of need to realize you're disrespecting yourself. You're not being kind to yourself through these things. And in the long term, it can create a better quality of life for you. Um, I watched another video of another YouTuber that said, when you're trying to learn self-discipline, that it's important to not focus on the things that you don't want to do about it. That you need to focus on what value it holds in it. So instead of being like, I don't want to do this because this, that, and the other, say, I want to do this because it's going to make me healthier, or it's going to make me feel better after I do this, or I'll get this out of the way and then I'll have free time. You know, you just need to look at the positive. Just like with everything else with the spiritual journey, Changing the mindset, being more positive, brings better things, um, brings better health, brings more prosperity, honestly. Um, by taking all that negative stuff out, dragging it out and exposing it and deciding to make a personal choice of I'm not going to do that anymore. So that's what I can say. Tonight is a full moon and I'm going to work on that self-discipline. Um, as far as my anxiety goes, something else that I've learned about that is instead of reacting to your anxiety in a bad way, like, oh no, I'm getting anxious and I just need to stop, just stop it, just don't do this, you know, that it's actually better for you to actually just pretend like it's helping you to be like, no, my body is just preparing me for this stressful situation. That's why I'm feeling this way. It's actually a good thing that my body is preparing me to go and do whatever task it is. And that kind of creates a relaxation in you to you be like, oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, that's okay then. So those are some things that I've learned and I'm trying out. Um, also, you know, other people's videos have said this too, but just like doing a like one, two, three rule where you don't even think about going to do something. You just go one, two, three, get up and go do it. You don't even think about it. Just like put it out of your mind as much as you can. That helps a little bit too. Um, but, <laughs> you know, there's all these things that you got to learn about self-discipline and anxiety. And when you think about it, I think anxiety and self-discipline are kind of linked together. Um, that you have a reaction to making yourself do something. And something that you also need to do with that is treat yourself to it. It's really a balance of giving yourself what you want, but not giving into it so much that it ruins your life um, by making bad choices. And ultimately, in my case, you know, putting on weight, um, keeping weight on, um, losing jobs that were important to you because you couldn't get yourself to keep them to work the necessary amount of time that you need to. You know, rewarding yourself and being like, okay, sometimes I'll give myself what I want. Sometimes I'll be like, okay, I did a good job. I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra here. But not doing it all the time, not doing it constantly, and just balancing that. Balancing what you need to do with what you sometimes want to do. Um, you know, that stuff from The Shining, you know, all work, no play makes you a dull little person or a boy or whatever. You know, it's true. Um, you need to do what you need to do for life purposes, but you also need to have some fun in there. Enjoy it. Give yourself a reward. Things like that. And I'm learning these things. I'm learning it from other people that have made videos and helped me out in these areas, and I'm hoping that my video can help you out. 
Um, you know, self-discipline spell that I am doing tonight is just, honestly, I'm gathering a couple herbs. I'm gathering some crystals. Um, you know, I'm going to say a short line and that be my mantra and just keep it with me and keep saying it and keep working. Hey guys, it. I just wanted to add on just a quick side note to that. So something else that I forgot to mention and I wanted to mention is that anxiety and self-discipline and everything like that is a problem. Sometimes anxiety and everything, it stresses people out a lot. Um, stress stresses people out a lot. It's a problem with that, period. Um, and I guess something that I wanted to preface it on is that stressing out about things and worrying about things, especially things that are out of your control, is not something that you should do. Like, I know that's obvious. It's like, I have no control over this, and there's no point in worrying about it until I actually come to that step and that point in my life. You know, it does no good for you to worry. You know, you just kind of need to ask yourself sometimes, does me worrying about this today change the outcome of tomorrow? Does all my emotions going into this make any difference of the outcome of tomorrow, of whatever the case and scenario is that's going to happen? No. A lot of the time it doesn't, and you just need to let it go. You know, you just need to take it step by step and let things just happen the way that they happen and let it be. Anyways, guys, I hope that this video helped you, and I hope it was a pretty short video. Um, but yeah, I hope it helped, and I hope that you have a good one, and thanks for tuning into my channel. Bye!